Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy, and welcome to my video, a keto full day of eating for weight loss. I woke up this morning and got my day started, and I am feeling some breakfast this morning. Yesterday, I made a good batch of some keto bagels, so I have some left over that I want to have this morning. We are just going to have a simple, very you know, basic keto breakfast with a keto bagel, some eggs and bacon, and some coffee. It is a cold morning here in Houston. I don't know why, it's like 60 something degrees. So I am feeling some hot coffee with just a bagel and just a very simple, delicious breakfast. So let's get started on that. These are the bagels that I made yesterday. I made a dozen of them. They are really good. I do have a video on the full recipe since these are left over from yesterday. It will pop up at the end of this video for you to click on. I have a video back in my older videos, takes you step by step on how to make these delicious keto bagels. They're really simple. It's kind of like a fathead dough base, but you add in eggs and you cook them and I added the bagel not included seasoning on top. You could have these like this the way I like to, cut them in half, put some cream cheese on them, different flavors of cream cheese that you can find or you can also make a breakfast sandwich with these um, you can put like some egg in the middle um, with some bacon some sausage you can make these bigger I like to make them in a mini donut pan just because I like them handheld very simple and then sometimes I would just shape them myself and make them bigger for breakfast sandwiches but I did make them very small yesterday so we are going to warm up one of these they are three net carbs each so I'm gonna have one with the cream cheese and we're just gonna get started our simple eggs and bacon for my bacon I am just going in with some original bacon this is just the HEB brand you can also use turkey bacon if you prefer that any meat is fine I'm gonna go ahead and fry up two slices I already scanned it into my carb manager that's just the app that I like to keep track of my foods that I eat for the day so it keeps track of my net carbs and my fat and my protein intake Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get these nice and crispy first, and then the leftover bacon grease, I like to go ahead and fry my eggs in it. While my bacon is frying, I'm just gonna go ahead and start my coffee. So we have some hot coffee right here. I'm gonna put in my water. I'm just using some regular Folgers ground coffee. I only make half a container or half a glass container. So I just put three scoops in, close this, and let this brew while we are cooking our food. Okay, my bacon is nice and crispy. I'm just gonna lower my heat so nothing burns. I'm gonna take this off to the side. In my leftover bacon grease, you could use your leftover bacon grease. I find it easier and it adds good fats and I don't have to pull out the olive oil or avocado oil. So I just use this. I'm gonna crack in two large eggs. That's what I'm gonna be having this morning. And just cook your eggs how you like it. If you want them scrambled, you can definitely use some grass-fed butter as well. I'm just seasoning my eggs with some black pepper and some salt. Usually I like to put that everything bagel not included seasoning on top. But since we're having a bagel, it's already on there. So simple salt and pepper would do. My eggs are ready, so we're just going to start serving it up. And I did warm up my bagel, and I'm going to show y'all what the inside of the bagel looks like. They're really good. Y'all should definitely give them a try. Okay, I have my bagel. I just warmed it up in the microwave since it's already nice and toasty. If you don't get them as toasty as I do, you can definitely just put them in a toaster and do it that way. I'm going to simply cut this in half. Sometimes I kind of just like spread the cream cheese on top, but I'm just going to show y'all what the inside looks like. They're very soft. They stay soft. They look like they're like crunchy, but they're not. You see how it's still like bread-like, very soft in the inside. These are so good. I've been craving them lately because I hadn't made them for a while. So I was like, I need to make a batch. So when I make a batch, I do make 12 servings of these. But if you do make them bigger, you might make less. But they are really good. I love them. Especially y'all need to get the, your hands on that bagel not included seasoning to make them. I got mine at HEB, but I heard they're at Trader Joe's if you do have one near you. Um, I think I've seen them at Sam's Club. You just have to look. 
So I'm going in. Um, usually you can buy like the cream cheese in a tub, but I didn't have none this week, but I did have this Philadelphia block cream cheese. And lately I've been really enjoying the one third less fat one because it stays really soft. It like, rather than the regular block of cream cheese where you have to soften it, this one just stays, look, I just took it out the fridge and it's still nice and creamy. So I've been really enjoying this one. I'm gonna go in with just one ounce of regular cream cheese and I'm gonna spread it on my bagel. I already put it in my carb manager. Remember if you do wanna stay on track and lose a good amount of weight on keto, especially in the beginning, you do wanna track your macros and make sure you're measuring out cheese and um, you know your meats and things like this, keeping track of the low carb breads that you make. Just because the calories add up and the net carbs, you think you're eating you know, in your window. And sometimes, you know, I get used to not measuring sometimes, but sometimes you have to just get that reminder that you are portioning out your food really good. So I have my cream cheese bagel right here. And I have my whole plate. This is what I'm going to be eating for breakfast. One bagel, two eggs, and two slices of bacon. Now we're gonna serve up our coffee. For my coffee, I'm just gonna take my cup. I know a lot of y'all like this cup. It has like the avocado and the eggs. I do have these cups on my merch shop in different colors that you can order in two different sizes. It will be linked in the description below to take y'all to my shop. You just click on the link and I have tons of options on there, different colors. They're really cute. I love these, especially, you know, when you're on keto. Got the little eggs and the avocado. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour me up some hot coffee. I'm just gonna do half a cup today. I'm not gonna fill up this whole cup because I am eating my breakfast and I get kind of full. And I've been drinking my water. I'm gonna go in with some Stevia liquid drops. This is a sweetener that I like to use. They don't only sell them in the liquid drops, they also sell it like in the granular form. I just put a squirt in here. Then if you've been following me the past couple weeks, y'all know that I went back to the basics on keto and I have been cutting out hidden sugars like circulose out of my diet. So usually if you do want to flavor these, if you're not as strict as I am lately, since I've already lost a lot of weight, I have to kind of cut back on some things. But when I first started on keto, I would always use Jordan Skinny Syrups to flavor my coffee with. Those are awesome. I love them. Um, I do have a discount code Keto with Sammy at checkout for those as well if y'all do want to give them a try. They have so many different flavors to flavor your coffee with. So you could definitely use that. But I'm just going to go in with some Stevia. And then lately I've been enjoying this Nut Pods Creamer. I cut back on heavy whipping cream with my coffee just because it was adding so many calories every single day for me. But you can go ahead and use some heavy whipping cream. Recommend like a tablespoon if you're in your coffee for a creamer. Or some half and half is good as well some unsweetened almond milk those are some three different options that you could use or if you like me you can go ahead and get this nut pods i got it at heb this is a french vanilla flavor and i believe they have like a regular flavor and then around the holidays they come out with like different holiday flavors as well um, this is the almond plus coconut creamer, so it's unsweetened and it's dairy free. It doesn't have no carbs, but it does add 10 calories for a tablespoon. So I went ahead and scanned it into my carb manager and I'm just gonna put in one tablespoon for my creamer. And then we're just gonna give it a good mix and enjoy our breakfast. Very simple and basic keto breakfast. All right, guys, before I dig into my breakfast, I'm just going to show um, tell you all the macros for this whole breakfast, including the coffee. So for my breakfast, I am having 33 grams of protein, 45 grams of fat, 573 calories, and five net carbs. So that is going to be my total macros for my breakfast so far. Um, I do use a card manager like I mentioned. I scan every single pro product that I use or you can just search it if you'd like to. And Bella wants to say hi. Bella is waiting because she smells the bacon. <laughs> but I'm about to dig right in y'all. All right guys, I ate breakfast. I am nice and full. It was delicious and I'm freezing so I had to put on this sweater. But right now, if y'all watched my live, I had a couple people ask me if I could start a new Keto with Sammy challenge. If you haven't been in my past challenges, we did, the first challenge was a 90 day challenge where we went 90 days with no cheat meals, only strictly keto foods. 
and it was really good i had a lot of people joined everybody did awesome and then we had another kind of smaller challenge but i really want to do a 30 day challenge everybody commented they don't that they want to do it 30 days just because it keeps people on track more and it's not so long we can just go by month by month if y'all want to keep up with the challenges 90 days is really good and it, it helps you lose a lot of weight but it's it's kind of too long for people so i want to keep the goal short where we could succeed at them and lose the weight that we wanted to lose so we're gonna start a new challenge on monday um and that's what we're doing right now my husband is actually going to we're gonna post it we're gonna post the rules for everybody on my facebook page if y'all do not follow me there it will link it be linked in the description below facebook it's keto with sammy y'all can head on over there follow me on there i post a lot of updates and things like what i eat throughout the day but currently that's what we're doing. So I'm excited to start this new 30 day challenge that will start on Monday. And we also are going to incorporate 16-8. So we're gonna be doing no cheat meals for 30 days, only strictly keto food. And 16-8 means that you will be fasting for 16 hours and eating between an eight hour window. I know it sounds long, but it has great benefits and it's really not that bad when you think about it. So you will mostly be fasting at night. So say I am done eating dinner by 6 p.m. Um, I won't eat breakfast the next day till, till 10 a.m. So that will be your 16 hours of fasting, basically while you're sleeping so it's really good it helped me lose a lot of weight in the beginning when I first started keto and it keeps you on track so I highly recommend it so if y'all want to join in on the challenge I will be posting it on my Facebook head on over there comment down below I'll also post it on here in the community section and we will get started on this new challenge I'm excited my husband if y'all have been following me y'all know he's going out of town he's actually leaving tomorrow so I just wanted a new challenge starting on Monday with everybody while he's out of town and I can just do me and work out and get in this fasting and this challenge so i'm excited y'all definitely join in so we can see these results my husband is editing our little picture right here i got my weight loss picture i just took this picture when did i take it a couple days ago maybe like four days ago and this right here was my first weight loss picture that i had ever taken i told my husband i was like hey i want to start keto i really want to start losing weight i did not believe in myself in this picture he was taking the pictures and I literally didn't even think that I was going to start the diet. I was like, I'm not going to do this, but I did it. Two years later, I've lost tons of weight. I was, you know, I was almost 200 pounds here. I am short. I'm only 4'11", so it looks really heavy on me, but I am very proud of myself. And I just retook this that picture a couple of days ago and it's a big difference. I'm like, wow. I love it. <laughs> but currently that's what we're doing. We were putting this little picture together. I got the challenge rules posted. So y'all definitely join in. Don't miss out. We are going to start this upcoming Monday. But right now I am actually headed off to Target just to pick up a few things for the day. I am back home. We were kind of just running around for a little bit. We went to Target. Then I went to go buy my mother-in-law her Mother's Day gift. And we were going to try to go give it to her today because I'm going to be busy over the weekend and on Mother's Day. But that's what we were doing. But since we are back home, before I pick up my kids from school, I am going to have a quick little snack. I did stop by Burger King for um, my husband and my son. They had got some food. But I got an unsweet tea just because it's really hot outside and I wanted something refreshing. And tea is like my weakness. So I tend to get large teas from like Sonic or anywhere I could get my hands on one from. I like to sweeten my tea with my Stevia liquid drops. And it tastes like regular sweet tea. I love it. So this is what I'm going to be sipping on while I have my snack. For my small snack today, I am just going to be having a ratio keto friendly yogurt. These are really good. I highly recommend them. I got this at HEB by all the other yogurts. Um, you can find them in that section. This is the black cherry flavor. They do have vanilla, um, the black cherry strawberry, and I believe one other flavor, but I can't remember what it is. This has two grams of carbs, 15 grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, and one gram of sugar. So I'm just gonna be having this, and I am going to top it with some Sola granola. This is the regular vanilla flavor. They do have a maple one and a chocolate one. Um, this as well, I got this at HEB in the Sola sec, I mean the Sola section, the granola section. And there is a really good amount of servings. I mean, like the serving size is a really good size. 
I did take it out the package, so I can't show you what the package looks like. This is what the yogurt looks like. It's a little bit more thick than like a regular yogurt, yogurt, but it's really, really good. It has really good flavor. So this is what I like to have in my fridge just as a small little snack. I'm just gonna take a couple of scoops of the Sola granola and put it right on top. It's just like a little mix of like nuts and things like that. It's really, really good. I usually get the chocolate one, but I've been liking the vanilla one as well, just cause it goes with all the yogurts. And this is going to be my snack for today before I have to go pick up my kids from school. When I get back from picking them up, we are going to hit some workouts today because I desperately need to work out. I haven't been working out the past couple days just because we've been busy. My husband's been going out of town. Even though my husband's going out of town, his brother is going to stay here with me just to keep me company. But once he's out of town, I am hitting those workouts hard again. But this is going to be my snack for right now. Y'all definitely give these a try. I just got back home from picking up my kids and we are about to hit these workouts. Before that, I have been trying to maintain my front yard. Me and my husband redid my front yard if y'all um, saw my video a couple of videos back, but we added a little bit of changes. So yesterday I bought a birdhouse. My husband, put, we took out the little tree that was here in the middle. We put a new one, he bought me a new tree. I just wanna show y'all what I did while I water my grass. My husband bought me a pretty magnolia tree. It's gonna be huge. My neighbor actually has a huge one over there. But look at this, I love it. I've been wanting a magnolia tree. They have pretty, you know, magnolia flowers on there. Love it. Then I have my bushes. I put these little lights. I'm still gonna buy little decorations. Um, I got a little birdhouse. So I put it right here. I just got it yesterday, love it. Got this one from HUB. -E it was only a couple bucks, so I added that, but everything looks so cute. And I have my little flower box over there with my mailbox. But I have been loving my garden. I am trying to maintain it and just grow some little grass patches back. But currently, that's what I'm doing. I was about to start getting dressed to work out, but then my husband was like, why don't you just relax with me since I'm going to be gone? I was like, so I feel guilty. So right now, I am currently doing nothing. I wanted to work out, but I mean, of course I'm gonna miss him cause he's gonna be gone over a month. So I am spending my time with him right now. We are playing games. If you know me, you know I love to play video games. We're playing Call of Duty and just relaxing because he's gonna be leaving early in the morning and I might as well spend my time with him, get it all in because yeah, he's gonna be gone. He's going to Wyoming, so. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm just relaxing and enjoying the day. Then we will get started on dinner here in a bit. We are going to be making a creamy fajita chicken bake. It's gonna be delicious. All right, going ahead and starting on dinner. Sorry if this video seems a little short. I know I love to show y'all my whole day all the time and give y'all a whole event full of stuff. But today, since my husband will be leaving, we are just having a relaxing day. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on dinner. I am going to be taking some bone chicken thighs and chopping those up just cubing it into some bite-sized pieces you can definitely make this I'll show y'all what I'm making but the chicken I do have a video on it it does have like the bone in chicken thighs in the video you could definitely use that as well and make um, the mixture right on top but when I had made it again I did it with boneless chicken thighs that time and then I kind of mixed it all in and it was awesome that way as well so it gives you two different options of what you want to do you can also incorporate chicken breast if you don't eat thighs like my husband doesn't eat thighs so if I cook this for him he'll eat chicken breast with it so there's different options that you could choose from but today we're going to be um going in with some boneless chicken thighs so I'm gonna get started on that I went ahead and I chopped up four boneless chicken thighs because they were a pretty good size I am making this for two people and then I trimmed off any fat <laughs> edit that out <laughs> guess what I hit what? 178 good Awesome. Dion's been trying to lose that. weight too. Please delete that. Why? Because. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and start cooking our chicken thighs. So I'm going to heat up a pan. Oh. Okay. I got it. I'm going to drop in one tablespoon of some olive oil and let this heat through. Go ahead and toss in our chicken thighs. Go ahead and give this a good mix. And we're just gonna season. I'm just gonna cook my chicken thighs through. When it's cooked through, we're gonna take this out and then we're gonna toss in some vegetables. I'm gonna go in with this fajita seasoning. This is from HEB, it's the Fiesta brand, but you could use any seasonings that you like or any fajita seasoning. 
I'm gonna go in with some black pepper. Some salt to taste. And then some garlic powder, because I have a problem with garlic powder. I feel like it just goes, it has to go on everything. <laughs> salt, pepper, and garlic powder are like my main seasonings. I put it on everything. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and cook this through. Okay, once my chicken thighs are almost fully cooked, we're gonna take the veggies. Now, you can totally chop up your own, but when I was at HEB, I saw this and I had to just grab it because it would make my life so much easier. So this is the fajita vegetable blend. It is just a blend of green bell peppers, red bell peppers, and onion. I think these are awesome just to have on hand for some quick and easy meals and you don't have to chop up, sit here, chop up anything. Or if you're not gonna use them that week, say something comes up, you still have it in the freezer and they stay fresh, they stay good. Nothing goes bad in the fridge because I be getting sidetracked sometimes. I be forgetting what I have it in the fridge sometimes. So I think this is awesome and this would definitely come in handy. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my chicken thighs to the side and I'm gonna dump this bag in. It is still semi-frozen, so it's just gonna cook through with the chicken. I am going to season it just a bit with the same seasonings. Just so the, the peppers still have some flavor with some salt, some pepper, and then I'll just add a little bit more of the fajita seasoning. And then since they're already pretty much cooked, they just need to heat through. We're just gonna wait until they get nice and tender. Okay, my veggies are nice and tender. You are going to have a little bit of juice left, but that's good. I want that because I am going to mix in one block of eight ounce or one eight ounce block of cream cheese. But I'm gonna dump out just a bit, but you wanna retain just a little bit. I retained just enough for the cream cheese to easily mix in, maybe like half a cup. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my eight ounce cream cheese. And you are just going to mix this in and break it apart. Before you do that, you wanna add a splash of heavy whipping cream and this would just help it thicken. Get it all nice and cheesy. And then you're just gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. It shouldn't take too long. This meal is very easy to throw together. You can also bake this in the oven and top it with cheese, but I'm just gonna keep it here simmering and then top it with cheese like this. Cause I'm just gonna pour it over some cauliflower rice. I actually put a bag of cauliflower rice in my microwave. It's one of those microwavable ones from Sam's Club. Or I usually like to pour this over broccoli or you can just have it however you like it. There's different ways that you can eat this. But today I am pouring it over cauliflower rice and it's gonna be really good. Okay, it literally only takes like five minutes for this to thicken and comes to a simmer. And now we have ourselves some cheesy, creamy chicken fajita. Like, I, I don't know, it's just like really good. Y'all need to give this a try. I can literally eat this like every single day over a bed of broccoli or cauliflower rice. It's really, really good. But I am going to add just a little bit of cheddar cheese on top just because we already have the cream cheese. I don't want to add too much cheese. So just a little bit of cheddar cheese because it just takes it up that much more. Okay, I had a block of out cheddar cheese, but I don't feel like shredding it. So I have this Kobe Monterey Jack mix. I'm going to measure it out just so I do not go overboard. I'm just gonna put in one third cup. Just like this, and then just sprinkle it right on top. Okay, my cauliflower rice is ready. Like I said, I just put it in the microwave. I seasoned it with some salt and pepper because a lot of the seasoning is gonna come from the chicken fajita. And this is a whole bag. I'm just gonna pour me a serving into a bowl and we are going to serve up our dinner because it was that quick and easy and really good. I'm gonna lay the cauliflower rice down first. You can keep this separate, but I love to just throw it all together. Okay, we have our cauliflower rice. Now I'm just gonna take a serving of this chicken fajita right on top. Guys, give this a try. I promise it will be like the best thing ever. And that's it. This is going to be our dinner. Look at this, guys. This cheesy chicken, just deliciousness with your cauliflower rice. If y'all give this a try, come back to this video, comment down below how you enjoyed it, or go ahead and head on over to my Facebook and post some pictures. But I'm just going to sit down and enjoy this delicious dinner. Guys, 
Like, I'm not even joking. This is probably one of the, cause I made it one other time before, but I haven't made it for a while. And the last time I didn't put it over the cauliflower rice, I put it over the broccoli. So this is like one of the best keto dishes that I have thrown together. It's just so good. I don't know, I guess the cream cheese with like the spicy, the, the fajita seasoning has like a little spice to it. Then with the bell peppers and the creaminess, it's just like, I'm telling y'all, give this recipe a try. It's delicious. I don't even want to share. My <laughs> Bella saw me and I went to go lay down and I was like, babe, this is so good. Give this a try. Or like, it's really good. It's like one of the, he won't eat it because he don't like chicken thighs. But I was like, this is the best thing I have like made. And he's like, prove it. Prove it to Bella. I was like, oh my God. So I gave her a piece of chicken, but I walked away because I don't want to share. I was like, let me go eat at the table. <laughs> I'm not sure of this, but it's so good. Before I end this video, I just wanted to jump on here and thank everybody for all the love and support that y'all have been showing me lately, especially on the last two lives. I really enjoyed getting on there and communicating with y'all and getting to know y'all on that personal level. I never thought that I would be this person that gets so much love and support from everybody. Like I still am in shock you know, even like this past week, everybody messaging me, commenting, like, it's just crazy. It goes more up and up every single day. I get more love and love all the time and I appreciate it so much. So I really enjoy doing those lives with y'all. And I started this channel just doing keto recipes, like just helping people on what to cook for keto and just giving them tips here and there. And now it's like, it's so much more than that. Like, I feel loved i feel like i'm a famous person <laughs> and i'm not i am just like a simple girl that is on her weight loss journey that just wants to help other people and i just never thought that i would be one of those people that had their before and after picture and has lost tons of weight and is now helping everybody else on their journey even though i'm still on my journey like i'm helping everybody I would always look up to those people that had like this major progress in their pictures that lost so much weight. And I'm like, I wish I could do that. And I did. And I'm still going. And now I'm helping everybody else. And it just makes me so happy. And it feels really good. So I just wanted to thank everybody for the lives and joining in on me with me and communicating with me and getting to know me on that personal level. So I really thank y'all. And I appreciate all the love that y'all show me every single day. But speaking of the lives as well, I just wanted to tell y'all that um, I had a couple people comment and message me asking if I had like a donate button or if they can donate to my channel channel to help support me so since y'all kept commenting that i went ahead and made one so if you are on like your desktop like a computer if you go to my youtube homepage, it will be on the right corner that y'all can click on it will be a little donate button that you can donate to my channel to and help support me and if you are on a phone you will go to my about section and in that section it will say donate and you can click on that button you do not have to donate to me at all this is just to help support my channel help me grow help you know show me some love and all that things it just keeps my channel growing and i really do appreciate it if y'all do i thank y'all in advance and thank y'all for those who continue to support me and show me all the love that y'all always do all right guys i enjoyed my dinner i am nice and full i was just laying my kids down for bed but i am going to be ending my night a little bit early it is currently like almost nine o'clock i just want to spend some time with my husband before he heads out tomorrow and yeah just spend some quality time together but let me tell y'all my macros for the end of the day i did keep track of everything i kept track of my breakfast as y'all saw i tracked my yogurt with the sola granola and i tracked my dinner the dinner is a little bit more harder to track at times so what you want to do when you go into carb manager you're going to create a recipe instead of scanning everything individually when you create a recipe you put all the ingredients in there you put how many servings that is in that recipe and then it breaks down the macros for you so that's exactly what I do and it does save recipes that you make all the time if you do want to save it so you know you don't have to keep creating that recipe but let me tell you all the macros so for today I did have 19 net carbs so we had um, 20 net carbs is a go for keto or to stay under it you don't exactly have to hit your net carbs every single day usually I stayed about under under it all the time but if i'm hungry i kind of hit it exactly so today we did have 19 net carbs for the day really good for a protein we had 74 grams of protein 94 grams of fat 
and 1,236 calories. So we stayed awesome on all our macros because everybody ranges in how much fat, protein, and their calorie intake that they are supposed to have. It all just depends on your height, your weight for your body, like all that stuff. So for me, I'm supposed to be having around 97 grams of protein. We got in 74 grams of protein. And it also depends if you do work out and everything like that. For fat, I'm supposed to be having 103 grams of fat. I have 90, I had 94 grams of fat today. And then my calorie limit is kind of, it's 1,393, so 1,393, and we had 1,236 today. And then of course, my net carbs is 20 net carbs. So we did really good for today for breakfast, snack, and dinner. Had an awesome day of keto eating, got all that in, and we are done for today. Um, but I really hope y'all enjoyed this What I Eat In A Day video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. I always put post awesome keto recipes for y'all to enjoy in all these what I eat in a days and I will see y'all in my next video.